Well, we're learning more about the recent hack of Austin-based software company SolarWinds. This week, the U.S. Cybersecurity Agency says the hack has affected federal, state, and local governments. And now there are calls for more transparency. KXAN's Maggie Glenn has the latest and how you can protect yourself from hacks at home this holiday season. If you think about all the cybersecurity events that happened before this, it's more than all of them combined. After weeks have now gone by since the news of SolarWinds hack broke, CEO of cybersecurity company PCmatic is calling for more transparency. SolarWinds has been um, fairly quiet about what's going on, and, and that is concerning to me. And this is really important because we don't want this to happen again. What happened and what can other um, software companies do to avoid this happening to their customers? Rob Chang says he's pushing for federal requirements to release more details and not just for this case. It's like the NTSB. When there's a plane crash, then the federal government gets in and they analyze everything very quickly, actually, and very comprehensively, and then they publish to the public all that information. We need something like that to happen. With so much of our society tuned in digitally right now, whether it be working from home or virtual learning, the hack hit home for many Americans. But Chang says this level of hack isn't what the average person should be worried about. The Department of Homeland Security just came on December and say they're going now, now, now after K-12. through Hackers on your personal computer try to target you through email. There are a few things you can do to protect yourself. Your email password should not be the same as your Amazon password, should not be the same as your Netflix password. And during the holiday season, when you get shipment confirmations, make sure you look closely before clicking. It might look very similar to Amazon. It might say Amazon One. It might say Amazon notifications. It might say a bunch of other things like that, but it'll never say Amazon. Maggie Glenn at KXAN News. And we did reach out to SolarWinds for comment, but they have not yet responded.